All right, this is Breakfast Burrito 101. You will need the following. A wheat tortilla, don't use corn. Mozzarella cheese, see if you can get the lower fat version. Dijon mustard, spinach, egg beater, Southwest style tastes better. And pre-cooked turkey, just grill it up yourself. I like to add a various number of spices. And someone to do your dirty work and cook over there. So first thing we're going to do is give the pan a light squirt of Pam Superior No Stick Olive Oil. You can really use whatever you want. I choose to use this. Let that heat up for a little bit. We're going to grab our turkey. Grab our egg beaters gently. And then we're going to add the turkey. Heat it up, wilt the spinach, and then add the egg. So this damn thing will focus. So I like to add in the spinach while the turkey is cooking, just to take an extra step. Sorry, I'm doing all this one-handed here. Wash your hands, kids. So for those of you that don't know me, my name is Thomas Trinnell. I'm an attorney, but I also really enjoy fitness. I'm getting my personal training certificate. I'm just trying to help out people to eat a little healthier, uh, to improve their lifestyle. I'm trying to focus specifically also on uh, professionals that, you know, we just don't have as much time in the day to do everything that we need to do. My dream is to sort of create shortcuts to help people eat healthier, get that energy they need to get through the day and improve their bodies in small ways that add up over time. So now we have the spinach and turkey cooking up nicely here. You can add, um, you know, like green and red peppers that have been chopped up. I like to do that on occasion, but um, this is gonna pair really nicely with the Dijon mustard, and I have not tried that with the pepper, so we're gonna stick to spinach right now. So this is just going to wilt down, just keep flopping around. You can see it's starting to cook down a little bit. That's important for texture. I mean, um, you can you know put the stuff on raw. Um, it's just all personal preference. An interesting thing about spinach, it does not lose any of its nutritional value when it's cooked down. So you can, if you're in a rush, you just need to get a bunch of spinach in you. Cook that down in a microwave, in a pan, whatever. Um, you're not going to leach out any of the vitamins or minerals that you get from, you know, um, spinach. And it's a really good superfood. So it's wilting down here, which is good. And like I said before, if it's your preference, you can cook with the meat normally, add in the egg, and then uh, bed the spinach on the tortilla. It's really whatever you want to do. All right. This is getting there. And now we are going to add the egg. So our spinach here is cooked down nicely. Now we're going to add in our egg beaters, southwestern style. Um, if this isn't your thing, you like more mild thing uh, to, you know, more mild egg to add into your meat, yeah, go for it. This is all just sort of experimentation. If you're counting macros, um, you know, measure it out. I just sort of go by feel. I like to have a nice sort of coating on there where there's, uh, you know, not too uh, much of the meat by itself there. It's all nice and submerged here. And this is going to cook down. You don't need to stir it as frequently as we did before. Just let that cook down until it's got that base all the way through. And then we're just going to uh, keep moving around until it's all the way through. While those eggs are cooking, we're going to prep the tortilla. I like to use the organic Dijon mustard. It doesn't have to be organic. Just uh, make sure it's a Dijon that you personally prefer to. Um, so just add about two tablespoons. There's very little... Um, you know, uh, calories within the mustard, as you can see here. So it's really kind of hard to um, go wrong on this. So add as much as you really want to taste. 
So there we go, that's about the proper amount to have on there. So now our eggs are cooking up nicely here. Just gonna smack them around a bit. Get all that good stuff moved around and cooked here. Sorry if my camera skills are giving me vertigo here, like a, watching a Born Supremacy movie or something, but eventually I'll get some sort of stand that can capture all this without the wiggly piggly, but for now you're just going to have to deal with the situation as best as you can. So it's important not to overcook these. Um, you know, you can crisp them out a little bit, but uh, if they burn out, they're just going to be a really nasty taste. Um, we're just trying to get some of the water out here. And you'll be able to tell just by the uh, consistency of it. It should look moist, um, but not wet. See, that's still a little, a little wet there, so we need to cook this a little longer. And at this stage, though, keep an eye on it. You know, if you don't, you can't just leave this down. Go do something else because it's only going to take another 30 seconds or so for it to cook through. You see the browning already. It's my condo, by the way. It's a nice little place where I hang out. It's my laundry hamper, apparently. Alright, so these are done. So I'm going to my last little tweak here. I'm good to go. So you just leave these on here. Let them get a little more of that water out. But they're done cooking. So I like to add a little avocado um, to my meal here. Avocado is one of the fattier um, you know, vegetables you can eat here. I don't know if it might be like technically fruit. But uh, it's about 70% of the calories to derive from fat. The good thing though is that they're heart healthy fat. It's, you know, it's fat that's actually good for your body. So uh, watch the calories on it. If you're trying to lose weight, then you might want to, you know, mix and match some calories to make sure that you can have it in there. But um, it's got more potassium than a banana. Um, just a lot of really beneficial effects of avocado. So maybe, I don't know, um, subtract something from your diet. If you're drinking a ton of milk, um, maybe put those calories to use in uh, another way by adding a little bit of avocado to your diet. Okay, now we've layered in our food into the tortilla. You can see here, this is probably about a cup, maybe a cup and a quarter of egg meat and uh, spinach. We've got a lot left over here. Um, this stuff keeps well, and this is really a power meal. So for anyone that's trying to um, stay focused during the day and trying to um, have meals ready to go, just wrap these suckers up. You can make a couple of those, take them to work with you. Uh, it's a protein heavy, uh, wonderful meal. So you're not missing anything on that. I like at this point here to add a little cheese to the mix. Um, I found, you know, this is all personal taste, but I find that the um, organic uh, mozzarella tastes the best to me. Um, truthfully, it's just the mozzarella doesn't have to be organic. So we're gonna get a little more of this here. Looks pretty good. Um, you know, it's a substantial amount of food here. What I like to do is uh, wrap it up a little bit and then pop it in the microwave for maybe um, you know just 20 seconds or so, melt the cheese, layer in the avocado, and then you're done. All right, our cheese is nicely melted. Now we're gonna take some of that avocado spread. Just get that in there. And well, like I said, depending on your diet, you might want to go easy on this. Um, personally, I think that we make enough bad choices with extra food during the day that subtracting some of those and adding something healthy like avocado is probably the better way to go. But, you know, everyone's different. So there we are. A beautiful, uh, delicious meal that is healthy in almost every way. Uh, we're getting a little bit of fat with the avocado 
and the cheese. Uh, a little bit of carbs from the tortilla, but once again, it's a wheat tortilla. So this is a great meal uh, for the morning. I'm 209 pounds and one of these and uh, maybe some oatmeal will fill me up just fine and keep me going for a good four hours. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it guys and I'll uh, post the macros in the uh, video below.